Alright, welcome back, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, doesn't seem like it to you guys, I'm sure, but for me, it's been a couple of weeks, actually, since I played the game. Uh, busy with other stuff, um, doing what I do. But, um, I, 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 uh, I don't remember where I was at. Soapbox. He shall... I don't remember. Am I going in or out? Jonah. Oh. Fine. They got him out, but Unaratu was captured. Oh no. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm going off to the box. I don't know how long it'll take. Do what you have to. Thanks. Alright. Oh yeah, it's in okay. I remember yeah, this now. Happened. That's yes. it. Yep, 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 yep. I'm gonna miss this game. It's cool. I didn't have any special reason for stopping playing it the last two weeks. I just, there are a couple, maybe even more than that. I don't remember. Um, I just started uh, really getting into. Come on now! Uh, really started getting into Spider-Man and ended up finishing the game. So that's what I've been putting most of my time into and then uh, actually building some Lego stuff. Like my Legos. Looks like this is the only way, okay? really cool, but I don't think this is it. Okay, can I just drop? <laughs> Alright! That's crazy. But yeah, I have uh, quite a few Lego uh, big, big sets. Uh, my my biggest set currently, I think, in size or amount of uh, Legos is um, I've got the Ghostbusters headquarters. That one was a really fun build. Um, I also have my Batman Tumblr is really large. It's probably my favorite besides the uh, Ghostbuster building. Um, I've got a snow speeder that's a pretty decent size. A lot of it's Star Wars, obviously. Star Wars nut. Um, I have a... Oh, man. Boba Fett's uh, Slave... Sh Slave 1, I think is what it was called. And... I am currently pulling together pieces to build a uh, Tim Burton Batmobile. It's not an official Lego set, but uh, I got the directions off of uh, Brick Vault. The um, Level Cap Gaming is a streamer that I watch. I've been watching him for a long time for certain games, and uh, he did a video where he shows his personal life um, kind of like his what he does for a living uh, job outside of gaming for, uh, for money. And uh, he is uh, one of the guys at Brick Vault. And I had known about Brick Vault for a while, but I never really looked into him. And I decided to check it out. And uh, they have a really cool... What they do is they have plans for... Um, Legos, like big scale Legos that they do, they build and they and they make the plans, and they they do it up and, and make it uh, like Lego, 
quality like you buy it from Lego. It has books and step-by-step -step instructions and, and all that stuff, and it's pretty cool. So you buy the instructions from them. I think it was about 30 bucks, and uh, they send you the booklet, print out in a uh, PDF file, and or not print out, put the booklet in a PDF file, and then they have the, uh, the list, the parts list, and you take that to, I took it to uh, Bricklink, and you take the parts list and you load it, upload it to Bricklink, and Bricklink makes a wanted list of all the pieces you need, and then you go from there and you buy, um, you buy the pieces from vendors, not like eBay because it's not an auction site, but maybe say Amazon. So there's a bunch of vendors that have all these Legos and stuff that they sell used bricks, new bricks, and uh, looks like there's a temple down there. You click on like a seller will have say a thousand pieces that you need and you click on them it'll give you the list and you can choose and they'll tell them how, how I tell you how much each piece is selling for 30 cents 50 cents five bucks 70 bucks you know per per piece and you can pick and choose what you want take away the most expensive pieces or whatever and then if you decide you want to do that then you build a cart and it throws all those pieces into a cart you pay that vendor and then move on to the next one and I'm three pieces away from completing the whole set together so I can actually build the, the thing and it's it's really really cool um, and I'm thinking about I'm really thinking about doing uh, the new Millennium Falcon it's the largest Lego set they've produced so far it's like 7500 pieces I think and I really really want to do it it's just a lot of money um, I have a bunch of money saved up here and there from because I, I knew it was coming out so I kind of saved for it a little bit and um, I also have gift cards on like Amazon and other gift cards that I could put to Amazon because you can load any gift card on Amazon they'll take the money from that and put it into your uh, wallet and uh, I have points accrued from my credit card uh, two of them my Amazon card and my my regular Chase Visa so it's like 200 bucks, so I can get the thing. It's an $800 set, and I can get it, I think, for around five, maybe six, four. I think four is what I got it down to, something like that. Four, it's just over four, if I remember right. 460, 450. Um, so I'm, I'm putting the calculations together to see. Uh, I think I'm going to do it. I really, really love Lego. I love doing it. And uh, now the kit will, like the, the the Millennium Falcon that they did last time, once it hit discontinue status, it became just, it increased a lot in value. Uh, it's thousands of, of dollars now, like on eBay and stuff. Uh, I got Unaratu captured. What's Dominguez going to do with her? As long as he needs the box, he'll keep her alive. <sighs> I hope. Ah. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. It's about the Lego. But it's a lot of money on Lego. Uh, it... it now the value, the high value after it's discontinued is for one in a box, unopened, unbuilt, but it'll still pull in a lot of money built if I decide to go that route. But I don't know. I, I just, I do it for the fun of it. Um, I used to put a lot of money into my cars and I still love doing that. And I still love, um, automobiles of all kinds, but I don't know. I don't do a lot of that anymore. Um, I don't know. I still have a lot of fun doing it. I just don't really do it that much. And I don't have the money. You know, I don't have kids. I don't have. I know I'm sitting here trying to justify it to a computer. Mm, impossible. Uh, a I microphone. Can't carry anymore. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. I really enjoy doing it. It's one of the things I like doing. And you only live once. 
Can't take any of this shit with you when you go. Might as well have fun while you're here and enjoy doing it. Do it. It's not Maya or Inca. So we'll see. So if I do that, I might do a video so you guys can see uh, when it's done. Maybe while I'm daring it, I'll do like a little video and show uh, process a little bit. You know, I, I don't know. I don't really film myself generally. I do film myself talking, obviously, but uh, not on camera. So we'll see. Uh, but it's a massive build. The thing, I don't know if I have room for it. We'll see. Uh, it trumps any of the pieces that I have so far. I mean, I, like I said, my largest set right now is the Ghostbusters headquarters. And I want to say that's got to be 3,500 pieces, 45, somewhere around there maybe. Um, and this... It's high, but I could dive. Uh, the Millennium right. Falcon is seven something. I don't know how to dive. <laughs> this is incredible. That would have been cool if I could have dove, but. Wow. So. Still up in the air. I would have done it a long time ago had it not have been. You know, if it was around 400 bucks or so, four or 500 maybe. Uh, the most I've spent for a Lego set I think is four or something. Um, still a lot of money, you know. And uh, if it was down a lot cheaper, wouldn't be a thing. Of course, it wouldn't be a thing for everybody, and it, it wouldn't be the ultimate collector's edition if it was cheap, you know? Everybody would have it. But it's so cool. Before we head up on in there. So three of five tra 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 treasure chests. So one there. Thank you. 
probably miss some stuff, but. Got all the treasure chests. I'm trying to go 100% here on the video. Playing. Big Tune is a Tomb Raider, uh, not a fanatic, well, he's a fan. Um, I like the games, but he's really into them. This is his thing. Um, it's up there. It's not the top, top game of the year for me. I would say God of War is probably the top game for me. Um, God of War definitely was up there. I wish that I would have figured out... I have the Elgato, but I couldn't figure out how to... Uh, I couldn't get it to record all the way. Um, it's kind of disappointing. Uh, uh, I might go back and do it. it. The game was amazing. I ended up getting through most of the game I recorded, but I only caught... I think I've said this on stream, or on, on recording here. Uh, I, I got through... Uh, a couple days of playing on a, on like a Sunday um, all day, most of the day and I recorded it and I got a lot of that in but by um since there's another one behind me um I, I recorded Oh, I see that's just where the challenge started. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Uh recorded that day or well two days, I think. But for whatever reason, when I kept going the recording got all fucked up. I had no video, there was just sound. And like a black screen so uh, and I went through quite a long ways um, on the third or fourth day and I didn't check until I, I went two days of recording and the recordings were fucked and I didn't go back and check quick enough to be able to um, fix it in time. I would have had to start like this game here. I'm saving as I go, just in case the recordings are messed up. Then I can go back to a very previous uh, thing section and do it again. But on God of War, I I had gone so far ahead that it was there's not uh, there was nothing I could do. So, uh, I just stopped recording and just played the rest of the game. Um, now, this one I've had a few times where it's gotten messed up in the recording, and I was able to go back <coughs> and just go backwards a little bit. Like, the the section where the, uh, the daughter, or not daughter, where you're her as a kid, that was uh, recorded a couple of times because the recording got booked. This they one was... carried a sacred object to a great temple. <coughs> the box of Eshel. What was that? Oh, great. It's... The sound was off on this. 
wasn't recording like the voices were. Uh, they didn't sync up. And I don't know why that happened. I never did really, really did figure that out. Robin taken from the walls of the cenote. It is simply a large X and the word run. Oh. We're gonna find out, huh? How do I? I don't think I can make that jump. Fuck it. Nope. Okay. So, how the fuck do we get over there? Oh. Should we move forward or challenge send blah, 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 the challenge to him? Hmm. Let's go to the challenge to him. And then I'll save at the uh, there's gonna be a camp spot somewhere near it. We'll save at it and then uh, call it, come back, do the tomb.
shotgun to get past that point. I bet you that's the entrance. Either way, I'm going to call it because we're about 30 minutes in, actually. Um, longer than normal. So uh, I want to thank you for coming along, and we'll catch you on the next one. It's going to be really short here. Uh, I'll be right back. Of course, probably be a week before I upload back-to-back. -back. But either way, uh, I'll see you soon. Later.